You're an animal. You're an animal. You're an animal. Oh, nuts, I left my pepper spray in my other purse. I recommend a reasonably priced fish restaurant. Russell Howard, what in the name of Marty Feldman happened to your eye? Nelson's been through so many different kind of characters. He's always been called Nelson, he's always been a fox, but he's been completely different from, from where we started out to where he is now. Looks like a low-ranking male. Probably hasn't mated. <gasps> Probably because he hasn't met the right person. There was a version of the show where Nelson was brash, a kind of obnoxious, horrible fox. If you can't look someone in the face and hold a decent conversation with them, how on God's earth are you supposed to tell them to sod off back to their own country? <laughs> we had a read-through of it and we thought, this doesn't quite work, it doesn't quite feel funny enough, he's too kind of harsh. So we brought in a new Nelson, which was this kind of metrosexual that was quite prim. And then that seemed to work. Middle class is magical, a safe world free from strife. This middle classness of him um, is something that really came to the fore, uh, particularly when we found Rufus Jones, who voices him. Uh, madam, my name is Nelson. Uh, wonder if you could just spare a... No. Nelson appealed to the young camp gay man in me. You're supposed to be a fox in char! I am a fox. Now, chamomile, blackberry or elderflower? I don't want your gay elderflower tea. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I am camp. As soon as we heard Rufus doing it, um, at least as soon as I heard Rufus doing it, I thought he was absolutely fantastic. Um, Stephen kept on saying, no, we must try it. Other people, we must keep on looking. Stroke a fox, win a speedboat! We were setting this in London. I originally envisaged that, that Nelson's voice would be slightly more down market. Maybe I'm just not special enough. We then auditioned about another 3,400 people um, and came back to Rufus. Uh, and Stephen, I think, is now his biggest fan. Oh, God, how embarrassing.